Hi friends and followers of MedicoX, Sylvan here. I'm going to give you a demonstration of our laparoscopic simulator, the LabX. So I've set up the LabX, it's the LabX hybrid configuration. And the LabX consists of uh, a few components. We have here two controllers, one for the left hand and one for the right hand. Uh, this is the, the box training table with the camera to show the exercise on the screen and it also comes with foot pedals the foot pedals has different functions for different exercises and the lap packs also comes in a suitcase where you can fit everything inside the lap packs is connected to the computer with usb cables so you don't need external power source and Finally, the LabX comes with the LabX software, of course. Now we have three different models of LabX. We have the LabX Hybrid, which is this one. We also have a LabX VR, which stands for virtual reality. And we have a LabX Box. The big difference between the three is the LabX Hybrid is a combination where you can train both virtual reality exercises as well as box training exercises, where the LabX VR you can only train the VR exercises and the LabX box, the box exercises. There is one more difference between the LabX box, box exercises and the LabX hybrid box exercises is that with the LabX hybrid, you can also record uh, some parameters that the LabX box doesn't record. For example, the path lengths of the instruments you can record with the LabX hybrid in the box training mode and the LabX box does not have that function. How do you train? Uh, it's quite a straightforward simulator. So when you want to train a future reality exercise, you just select an exercise. In our library, we have around uh, 30 plus future reality exercises. And when you purchase the simulator, all the exercises are included. So you don't have to purchase separate modules for separate curricula let me open one exercise as an example so each exercise when you open it you can always uh, turn on the instruction video so you can learn how the exercise is being done what is the objective of this exercise you can scroll forward a bit so you can see an example of the video then as a student if you don't know how the exercise work, you can just turn on the video and check and then uh, replicate it in the exercise yourself. And what you can also see is the scores. So as a student, you can see how you have performed in the past and uh, you can check your progress. And this exercises uh, results are also available for the, for the teacher. Now, let me uh, open the exercise. So in this particular exercise, it's all about the hand-eye coordination. And what you need to do is you have to uh, uh, put all the green marbles at the location where the uh, orange marbles are and vice versa, while with one hand you touch the blue marble in the middle. And as you can see here, in reality, I'm holding the real instruments and in the VR environment, you see the instrument uh, mimic the movement that I make. So it's very realistic. It's almost like a computer game. So now I touch the blue marble and then I can move an object. And when you make a mistake, for example, you touch the background, the simulator will make a sound and it will be counted as a mistake. Or also if you accidentally drop a marble, it will be counted as a mistake as well. If you don't uh, pick it up in time. Um, the foot pedals in this particular exercise also have some functions. So for example, I can zoom in, I can zoom out and I can rotate. I can do this with the arrows keys of the 
of the keyboard as well. And what is uh, really cool is I can also change the, the lighting. So I can make no shadow, a little bit of background shadow, or make the shadow come back. Because in laparoscopy, normally you don't really have a shadow. So after you have finished the exercise, um, the computer will show you the results that you have that you have gotten from doing the exercise. So let me finish this. Move the green one there. Move the last orange marble there. Now it says exercise completed. And the computer will show you the results of your exercise. So here you can see the nominal score that you have to score. This is the best student score. So if you, even if you have passed, but you're quite competitive, you know who the best student was, and then you can train again to be the best yourself. So we have uh, uh, a number of this kind of abstract exercise where you learn uh, about the hand-eye coordination. But besides that, we also have some procedural exercises where you can do a real operation. So for example, we have a cholecystectomy exercise. I'm gonna open uh, uh, the instruction video for you to see. And uh, all these exercises, we have uploaded all the instruction videos on YouTube. So you can uh, check them out, um, all of them uh, yourself. And so, for example, this is the cholecystectomy exercise. Yeah, and like I said before, we have around 30 plus of those exercises. But what is really nice about our simulator is the possibility to train not only the VR, but also box training. It's an uh, abstract exercise. And in this case, I, I have some... Uh, some balls and some packs that I can move. But it can be any exercises that you want. And then in the software, I can just select the box exercise. And also for the box exercise, as an instructor, you can make an uh, instruction video for the student. And after the student have seen the instruction video, then they can exercise themselves. Yeah, like this and now I just with the blink of the eye I've switched from VR training to box training and then when you finish the exercise then you get the, the results of the exercise as well uh, but because the computer cannot recognize if the exercise is done well or not, it has to be sent for evaluation. So as an instructor, you can evaluate if the student has done it uh, correct or not, and then you can, uh, can sign off the exercise for the student. So uh, that's how the exercise works. As an instructor, you have some extra functionalities as well. You can see here, uh, manage student account. Here you can create student accounts. And, um, and then we have user sessions where you can see how long the students have trained and how often they have trained. And then here we have some extra progress features where you can see the progress of each student per exercise or see the uh, progress of each student and you can see the individual student progresses in manage curricula is where you can create your own curriculum like I said before we have uh, 30 plus virtual reality exercises uh, box training exercise you can create as many as you want and with manage curricula you can create your own customized curriculum so for example maybe you have a curriculum for the first year students you can make that uh, for yourself and then finally, we have the manage box exercise. And here you can create your own box exercises. Well, this is in short how the Lapix Hybrid works. And the Lapix VR is basically the Lapix Hybrid without the box training. 
and the Lapix box is the Lapix hybrid without the VR trading. And if you have more questions, feel free to contact us and we are gladly to help you. Thank you and goodbye.